In this video, we're going to go over the differences between SweetCommerce Advanced, Shopify Plus, and Magento. I'm going to break down this comparison into really five key points, and that's integration, price, system-specific oddities, managed upgrades, and B2B slash B2C functionality. First of all, let's talk about the integration between the e-commerce platform and your NetSuite ERP system. Sweet Commerce Advanced already comes pre-integrated, meaning you do not need some type of integrator platform. However, with Shopify Plus and Magento and any other e-commerce platform, you do need to have an integration built out, which can cost between $2,500 to $5,000 a year just for that mapping between fields of your e-commerce platform and NetSuite. So this alone can dramatically change the cost of your e-commerce platform. Let's talk about the pricing next. When looking at Sweet Commerce Advanced, you can see that the pricing is around $5,000 a month. Or you can look at Sweet Commerce Standard, which is around $2,500 a month. Now, there's a key difference between this and the other platforms because this is all you need in the system all together in one, and there's really no types of extra costs needed and are associated with this type of licensing. Now, when you look at Shopify Plus, they're priced around $2,000 a month However, when you add in things like transaction, shipping, template costs, integration, it actually gets to about the same price, if not a little bit more than Sweet Commerce Advanced. So for a Shopify Plus, for an all-in system, you're looking around $5,500 a month. Magento is starting at $5,500 a month. Once you get your full package, Sweet Commerce Advanced is actually a little bit cheaper than the other major competitive options. The third thing I want to talk about is with system-specific oddities. And really, this just is specific for Magento. And it requires monthly security patching, which is a little bit odd that is not required on the other two platforms. And that would increase your monthly maintenance costs by at least a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how much maintenance costs are required for this, but just keep that in mind as one of the additional costs that you may be facing in the future. The next thing I want to talk about is really very important in my opinion when you're dealing with customizations and that's with managed upgrades. Both Sweet Commerce Advanced and Magento have a version locking in place, meaning that they are not going to automatically update and potentially break a customization, whereas Shopify Plus does have that. When you have Sweet Commerce Advanced though, and you're trying to do a version migration, you can use something called Extensibility API, which is what developers can use that are already managed in the customizations that they can repurpose in the future. It's calling out like a function. Let's say you had like a place order button. They could call out a function that does that and that function is managed by NetSuite and that function may be utilized within a customization. So it's much easier to maintain customizations when you're vert going up from one version to the next. And that's one of the biggest perks with Sweet Commerce Advanced when it comes to developers and going from version to version with customizations. When you have Shopify Plus, or some other type of platform that is managed, it's good to keep in mind that your customizations may break without you knowing it simply because they upgrade from one version to the next because your customizations are not managed by Shopify Plus. This has an impact on your revenue because if it breaks something that causes your website to go down for a long period of time, you could lose a lot of money. Lastly, let's talk about both B2B and B2C functionality for each one of these platforms. Sweet Commerce Advanced has an excellent platform for B2B and B2C, and it is especially useful for B2B customers. And the reason why is because it has so much information from the ERP that can be surfaced in my account, like certain custom records that would display in my accounts, or even any type of customization that you can think about that is related to that customer. Shopify Plus doesn't have as many features for B2B, but they do have a lot of features for B2C that really I can't complain about. They have quite a bit of features that are really useful for B2C companies. Lastly, Magento is a little bit lacking in both B2B and B2C. In general, it's a good platform overall, but in comparison to Shopify Plus or Sweet Commerce Advanced, it can't really compare on the B2B or B2C platform.